This is Steven, and this question is testing your knowledge of probability. The question reads, a jar contains five red, six blue balls, and eight white balls. If one ball is chosen at random, then returned to the jar, and a second ball is chosen, what is the probability that both of them are going to be red? So the first thing is that you need to write out how many events are occurring in this question. So we draw one ball and then we put it back. So that's one event. And then we draw a second one. That's our second event. So these are two events occurring and they both are dependent on each other for their probability. But because we put the ball back into the jar, uh, we don't have to worry about reducing anything in the end. So the question is asking how many red balls um, or what the probability of drawing both red balls will be. So the first one, or first thing to note with probability is that it's positive outcomes over total outcomes. So on the first drawing, we have five red out of a total of, so five plus six plus eight is equal to 19. So over 19. There's not anything we can do to reduce that, so let's go ahead and think about the second event. We're drawing, or we want to draw another red. Nothing changed from the number of balls in the jar because we put the first one back, so it should be the same probability for the second one. Now, looking at your answer choices, we actually have a couple that are showing the operation that needs to occur between these two events. Answer choice A doesn't really work because it's just one fifth and this doesn't even match any of the other probabilities that we have. 519 would work if we were only doing one draw from the jar. 5 over 19 can't be reduced to 1 fifth, so C doesn't work. D is our answer choice because the operation between two dependent events is always multiplication. So we have 5 over 19 times 5 over 19. So thankfully we don't have to try to figure out what that is uh, by multiplying across. We just have our answer choice there.